Hi, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. I upcycle clothes and I love to create unique edgy pieces out of ordinary thrifted finds. Uh, today we're going to be working on a flannel shirt. I'm going to be starting with this men's XL flannel shirt. I always try to choose 100% cotton whenever I bleach or dye and this is going to be bleached. The first thing I did here is unbutton my shirt and then line up these two edges where the buttonholes and the buttons are and then I'm going to cut I want a high-low design, so I'm just going to cut a piece off of here, making sure these are lined up nice. And I'm going to go all the way to the seam in this side here of the shirt. Now my shirt looks like this. It's longer in the back and shorter here in the front. Next thing I'm going to do is take the two sleeves and line them up. Then I'm going to measure up about eight inches and I am going to cut off the bottom part of the sleeve. Now it's time to work on the ruffles and how I'm going to make those is use flannel jammy pants and I'm making sure these are 100% cotton too because they will also be bleached. I'm starting out with three pair. Um, I don't know if I'll need them all, but I like to have enough materials just in case. So the first thing I'm going to do with the jammy pants is disassemble them so that I can open them up to cut my ruffles. I'll cut the seams down the sides and open them up. What I'm going to do now is that sleeve that I cut off, I want to add a fun flared ruffle right here. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the width of this sleeve, which mine is seven inches, and I'm going to double that because there's two sides. So that gives me 14 inches all the way around. Then what I will do is take two different colors of flannel, and I am going to, okay, so I got 14 inches here, my ruffle needs to be double or triple that. I usually go double and add a little bit so I don't run out of ruffle when I'm sewing. So I'll probably cut about a 34 inch because I have 14. I'm going to double that and add some. So I'm going to go 34 inches and I want my ruffle to be 7 inches wide. So I'm going to go 34 by 7. And I'm going to do that on this one and this one, one for each sleeve. So here I have my two pieces of flannel cut at 34 by seven. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine and I'm gonna find the bottom of my sleeve here that we cut. And I'm gonna find that seam that's underneath. And then I will take one of my pieces of flannel and I am just going to, I'm going to sew on the outside. I like some frame. This will be just be sewn over top. So here's that seam. I'm not going to start right here on this piece of flannel. I want to give it about an inch. I'm going to start about an inch or an inch and a half down. And I'll show you why in a little bit. And as I'm sewing this around my sleeve, and I'll show you this again at the machine, I am going to pinch and sew. Pinch and sew. Pinch and sew all the way around the sleeve. Leaving about an inch and a half open right here. We'll need that at the end and I'll show you. So here I am at my machine. I'm just going to slip my sleeve over top of it. And I like to use gold thread because I'm going to bleach all this and I have no idea what color it's going to turn out. And gold seems to be the most inconspicuous. So 
the right sides up and then I'm just going to take my flannel and I'm going to overlap it about half an inch but I'm going to start close to the seam here and I'm not going to start at the edge of the new flannel I'm going to start about an inch or inch and a half in and I'm going to use somewhat of a small stitch but I don't want it to take forever so it's not going to be super tiny so I'm going to start and then back stitch and what I will do is just pinch this a little bit and then when I get through that little pleat I'm going to pinch the next and I'm just going to do that all the way around the sleeve and then I'll show you what I do at the end. So here you can see my flared sleeve is starting to take shape. I left this piece open here and I stopped before I got to that opening when I stitched around. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to stitch it to that open side and I'm going to stitch it down the side here. And then once that's sewn, I go back to my machine and I continue stitching and pleating that little piece back in place. Now this sleeve is finished and I'm going to go do the other side. This is what the sleeves look like. Very cute. Now what I want to do is add a ruffle at the bottom and I also want it to be seven inches long. And I will measure the distance around the flannel, come up over here and a down along the back. And the measurement I got for mine is 57 inches. And I'm going to double that because a ruffle needs to be doubled or tripled. And I got 114 inches. And I'm going to add a little extra for safety and make it 125 inches. So these are the pieces I'm going to use to make the ruffle. Obviously, I don't have one piece that's 125 inches, so I'm going to have to piece them together. And I'm just going to sew wrong sides together. I like the seams on the outside. I like some fraying and distressing. So I'm going to go to my, my machine, and I'm going to stitch all these together until they make one long 125-inch ruffle. Now I have my flannel pieces all sewn together to make a big long ruffle. And what I'll do is go back to my machine and here's where the shirt opens, the side has the buttons. I'm going to take this big strip of flannel and I'm gonna start right at the very edge here, about half an inch overlap. And I'm gonna do the same as I did the sleeves. I'm just gonna go around and pinch pleat it, sew it, pinch it, sew it, until I get all the way to this end. So here it is with the ruffles all sewn on. Now I'm going to bleach it. I filled a bucket with 50% water and 50% bleach. And now I'm going to submerse my shirt completely inside. So this soaked in the bucket for about half an hour. And I kind of like the fall colors it turned out to be. So now I'm just going to try to rinse as much of that bleach out of it as I can so that it stops processing. Now I'm just going to wash and dry it on regular cycles. So 
So here's what it looks like so far. I just got it out of the dryer, had to clip some super long pieces of fraying. But uh, the bleaching just makes it look time worn and vintage. The ruffles give it a nice flare, make it a nice long tunic length in the back. I'll probably wear this open, but I'm not done yet. I want to add the black lettering on the back that says rock and roll. I like things to look unique and edgy and something you'd want to make to wear to a music festival. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now what I want to do is create the letters rock and roll that I'm going to put on the back of the flannel. And I'm just going to freehand. But if you want to look for stencils, my letters are about five inches tall by approximately three and a half, four inches. Now I'm just cutting out my letters. I'm going to make my rock and roll letters out of black denim. But first I need to cut these up so it's easier to work. So now I'm just tracing my lettering on the black jeans with a piece of chalk. And then I'm going to cut it out. So here they are cut out and now I have to get them onto the flannel. Okay, so I took the letters that I cut out and just laid them on the back of the shirt until I like how it looks. There's no science to this, you just have to kind of eyeball it. And then I'm going to pin it down super secure. Okay, you can see here that I have my letters in position and all pinned on. Now I'm going to take it to the machine and sew it. I'll use a smallish, somewhat of a small stitch, like I always say, small enough to be secure, but not so small it takes me forever to stitch it on. So here it is again. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see upcoming tutorials and DIYs. Thank you for watching.